everything you ever wanted in life has always been there. Everything that you have wanted has been there. And everything that you have at some point you asked for it and depending on the intensity of your asking you received it and your thoughts determine your emotions and your emotions determine your action and then your action has an effect and that effect resembles that effect resembles that thought and if that thought of you and what you are is victim limited not good enough needs more needs something then they'll start, you know, getting more uh, spiritual. They'll get more serious about their life. I'm in the park, by the way, because I just worked out. I just worked out in the park and uh, returning back home. And I just wanted to share that, you know, little um, thought while I was looking at those rabbits, the whole rabbit family, you know, and everything that you see in your reality is actually a, it, it's, it's talking to you, it's talking to you, you just have to recognize it, that's how the divine speaks to you, through understanding this illusionary reality you live in, and know it because this is the shadow like what you see in the physical is the shadow of something greater in the non-physical just like when the sun cast my shadow here that shadow if you just have a shadow it's hard to if you have a, a bunch of silhouettes shadow people right uh, a picture of a shadow only and not the not what is casting the shadow you're gonna have a very limited view of reality right well this is exactly what it is this physical you see is the shadow because it came from a higher it came from unseen energies that your eyes can't uh, pick up on you know, uh, like for example, cats, they see totally differently, you know, like infrared, you know, like the predator, the movie, the predator, it's like that predator in that movie predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger. That is your, uh, that is the energy you have to tap into because that's an aspect of you. You have to put it on your side as in like, you have to subdue it. That's the beastly desires, beastly, you know, uh, reactions and that takes a lot of shadow work and not only that you learn quantum physics you learn the techniques that you can plant seeds in your super conscious mind you know like uh, the super conscious and the conscious subconscious and then the uh, conscious mind which is the conscious mind is the ego you know it's the it's and, and the conscious mind the ego uh, uh, is created from um, the 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 sub subconscious mind, you know, like the the like the materials of reality are given to it by the subconscious mind. But the superconscious mind is where you're hiding a lot of uh, the darkness. That's the darkness that you have to tap into your own. It's like oh, be, we'll get light. Oh, uh, uh, light workers and shit like that. No, that's a trick. Not light workers. You don't want to, because light workers, you know, you can't deny the shadow, because the shadow is the greater aspect of you. 
and and we've been taught all our life to think dark is bad you know all the characters on uh disney and all that they were bad because you thought they were bad because they were darker you know they had darker hair uh they had darker skin and um and even when the dark scenes come on wasn't the music kind of scarier you know so it's like that's a that's programming you have vision you have you have your viewing mix in with the music that 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 attacks certain aspects of your psyche that plant that um, in your subconscious mind this is like studied you know this is like legit stuff I'm going but I, I mean it's like oh it's like it's not just theory you have to you can't it's not a theory where it's like it's entertaining to listen to me talk about this kind of stuff because it sounds crazy it's like this is fucking crazy but until but it's, it's actually for you to uh, implement those same techniques in your own life and um, you can start creating your reality not just underneath someone else's some other bigger you know lower vibe systems you have to, you can rise above it but you're in the same reality you know like these rabbits people can be uh, coming back from work right now and they think the world is messed up and this and that yet if they spent five minutes looking at those rabbits and just and then it'll take their vibration state into a time when they were a child and maybe looked at rabbits or whatever you know and it's like you 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 get kind of like you breathe you see the greenery you see you know you see nature and then you are, are in a calmer state you know you just breathe you know it's like these rabbits are being taken care of you know by who by you no it's just they understand they're just they just be you know and of course the the ego mind is the I mean I wore this shirt it was my ego is for my ego my ego is my physical body that's why you can't be 100% perfect because you still have an ego I'm not gonna so I'm, I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna destroy my ego as much where I still have a label you know, I still have a label, and that label is my ego. So I'm going to wear uh, uh, this shirt. I'm going to wear it for a reason. I'm going to look a certain way. That is because it, it, it has a certain intent. You know, and, and it's like, and it's, it's, and the soul is okay with it. You know, it's like, it's like, if I denied the ego that kind of stuff, then I would be very, like, um, you can't deny your ego. It's what it wants. You know, it, I mean, it wants, for example, uh, um, it wants to uh, feel secure. It wants to feel, um, you know, felt important. It wants to feel uh, listened to. It wants to feel liked. Okay, the ego wants all those things. It's like a scared child. It needs security. It needs all those things. But then, the more you control the ego, and you have ego debts, and you you know uh kill that version of you in a in a subconscious like you do it in a conscious way like you do it anyways like now people a lot of people their ego their was a superficial kind of ego hold on it was superficial where um you know you go to restaurants all the time and you built a, a certain um a certain um persona of yourself attached to certain things you know uh, certain behaviors certain friends and and that system has been disrupted it has been disrupted because of this uh, quarantine and all this kind of stuff and and now you're faced with the self where it's like you can't go anywhere no one else can you can't go anywhere where are you gonna get that energy from that that makes it feel good or 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 you know when you watch sports it gives you a sense of um like brotherhood for a sports team you can't watch it anymore so what are you gonna do now you know so it's like a lot of people can't handle that because they don't know how to rebuild themselves because then they get sucked into like other bad habits that that replace you know the need to go to out all the time now they're binge watching Netflix you know and all the while it's like 
it's not satisfying them because how many fucking shows can you watch? You know, and it's like, and it's like, it's a cliffhanger each time. It's like, no. And now they have things on Netflix where you can watch with your friends and stuff. It's like, see how the ego is a physical illusion. That's the ego. You reflect it in there and the ego gets the energy from that. Now it's like going to be having Netflix parties and it's like one bad habit got replaced with another bad habit that doesn't allow you to actually create your own reality. You know, you're always uh, left in it with a spiritual kind of emptiness. And then because no matter what, you want to get closer to that, 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 that childlike imagination that you used to have feminine aspect of you which is the creation and and um, imagination and having an idea and like having a beautiful idea it doesn't come from the logical mind it comes from the it, it doesn't come from masculine energy it comes from the feminine mind and that feminine mind is the darkness you know and it's been like double whammied demon uh, like demonized in your psyche but it's actually you that, that you know, it's like uh, your ego, you know. Uh, it's really uh, it's a lot to get into, but you know, if you're if you're committed to uh, really transforming yourself, you have to have certain ego deaths, and that is even uh, letting go of the ego of like um, not investing in yourself, you know, as in like what, how have you invested in your in yourself, and and kind of really working your issues out. You know, what do you do for that? And then it's like, and then the thing is, what when you ask that question to yourself, you're like, well, the ego gives you that, gives you the answer, you know, because it's comfortable. It gives you the answers like, oh, well, you know, I uh, do this, that, and it's like, it's good enough, you know, the ego gives you the answer. But the, the right, the, that's to, to have the ego death, that's why people charge money for like coaching, you know, because you have to have that ego death of putting uh, uh, your, you know, having somebody that, that like getting help from somebody else, you know, or some people value uh, the energy of money and, and they think that uh, uh, by giving it, the ego says, well, no, you can do it yourself. You know, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, he can't help you. Um, or you can, you can learn it yourself. Or, you know, um, you're doing fine, you know, uh, it's going to say all these things. But the fact that I'm even resonating with, with you and I'm really uh, hitting on some aspects that you know it's there. You know, people that have, you know, uh, health, uh, like, they know that they're not satisfied because they don't have that connection. And you can see it in their life. You know, like you see it in the way they are. You can see, I mean, that's, that's sad, you know? And because I was there, I was like that. You know, I was needing approval from other people. I was needing, uh, I was needing um, some kind of um, pat on the back, you know, seeking that, you know? And it's like, you're always going to seek it because nothing will satisfy you, you know? And it's like, I was looking for, um, some kind of uh, belonging, you know, from outside yourself. See, it's like it's almost like this whole process is like getting to love yourself again, not because of an ego reason, but because you were created by the divine. You're the reflection of the divine, <laughs> and it's like. You have to shift your consciousness to a higher level. That's that thing. You have to shift it to a higher vibrational state. And you can't do that without letting go of the lower vibrational state. And, and like steps, you go up. And now we live in the quantum where you can learn, you can really transform in, in a month. You can, ha you can accomplish great, amazing, ta amazing like goals personally in like in in one month you know i mean that's that's i mean i'm not saying it's like simple but i mean realistically you can 
if you are committed in in for in uh, my my uh, hopes is uh, to to help about ten people uh, by the time uh, Ramadan comes along, because it's going to be a different kind of Ramadan this time, because a lot of people got their spirituality that that feeling of like because they went to the masjid right here, they went to the mosque and they met people and they you know it was fun, it was like exciting, it was fun. And it's like, you never go, but you see people after a long time, after a year, you see your old friends and stuff, and it's like a festive kind of atmosphere the whole 30 days, you know? And then especially the weekends. But guess what? That's not going to be available this year anymore. Where are you going to get your samosas, you know? You're going to lose, you're going to, you're going to, I mean, <laughs> it's going to be very, very different. And people, I believe, it's, it's, how are you know that in these aspects that's where your your uh desperation comes out and fear and and that leads to more fear and it leads to anger and it leads to you know a chaos mind and a chaos just chaos you don't want that i've been there but everything you need is within you you just have to bring it out you know you have to draw it out of you and there's processes there are techniques there are techniques to do that there are techniques to to uh, put yourself at a higher um, vibration you know have like these amazing epiphanies of your own life and it's very customized I use a customized approach uh, to all my uh, clients because I, I read their energy I get their their chart readings it's like a snapshot of the nuffs of the ego of what energies was available what was around where you know was Saturn where was this because each of these planets signify a certain archetype certain energy and where was the these constellations you know like 12 zodiacs right and it's like it's like oh you can't do this you can't do this in Islam it's like no you know what you can because they're just they're like the 12 disciples you know of Jesus and he was what he was not the 12th he was the 13th because you are the 13th I mean I'm getting really deep but uh, the thing is uh, there have been techniques always but we just have been told that you can't do this because it's dark and this and that because it's just because it's the ego that was telling you that you know it was the ego and if you're committed to learning and really learning and knowing not just believing in that divine within you but knowing and from that knowing you know more and more how can you know the infinite you can't know the infinite you can't know it so it's always a process of knowing you like wow you get amazed every day about this whole life this whole reality and nothing is bad you know, because you know it's all good. You're put on this earth because if you get close to the divine, because it's within you, you're gonna start reflecting more of the energy, more of the attributes, right? Nine attributes. You, I mean, it's in, it's it's literally reflected reflected through you. And you're like a carbonized, crystalline energy entity. It's like you can program your mind to speak a certain language when you see things because that's how your mind sees by pictures and you just change the picture you change the story you change the painting with your own paintbrush which is your imagination okay so everybody uh, text me not text me but uh, just DM me and uh, we can get you know we can talk okay take care everyone and have a beautiful day and just Go outside in the front lawn. Go anywhere you can. Just smell the fresh air. It's amazing. All right? Take your slumber.